Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. What we're going to do today is making um, a menu for our program uh, using an iteration, a loop. So before we had our methods that were called from the program but those were fixed. Uh, what we're doing now is having a menu that we can select what uh, of of what of this method we want to choose. So the first thing is going I'm going to write the the um, the menu um, and I'm gonna write it like this using the console of course um, and I put uh, four options display balance, deposit money, withdraw money and quit um, so what we do uh, now is we're going to make a variable uh, I call it selection Let me take off the caps and we assign a value of zero as we initialize as zero. Another thing we're going to do is making in fact the the, the iteration. So we use a do while um, loop and we write it like this. In the end you write while and you put a condition. You don't need the brackets though. Just put this one. And we're going to write that the selection is not equal to 4. Uh, I'll show you why this in a second. Inside here, um, we're going to put our menu. So we copy this one inside and like this. We're going to make, we're going to put values in here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And you see, in the end, we have selection not equal to four. Um, so what happens is that uh, soon we're going to write um, a comment that uh, is called switch, uh, and switch what does it makes uh, let you make a selection. Um, so we read the selection uh, variable we we wrote, and uh, it compares the value that is assigned, and will perform a method um, that is assigned to that value. And I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but now um, I'll show I'll explain you uh, the while loop, uh, what the do while loop what does. Uh, if happens that we're going to uh, put a, a value uh, that is different from four then what happens is that uh, when uh, the, the statement reaches this point it will restart again from where the do starts so we'll uh, reprint again uh, all these four lines and gets back here until um, the selection is different from four the time that uh, the selection it would be equal to four equal to four then it will exit the do while loop and continue uh, from here onward so it will basically quit in our case um, so let's put a selection uh, using the switch so what we're going to write is switch there you go, expression uh, we're going to put just selection in here and we're going to write case and the value of it one and colon and we write bank account dot um, display and underneath break like this so Let's, let's continue a second case two um, bank account dot deposit there you go and break yeah I misspelled as well break as not to be capital okay so what happens here is that a switch will check the selection value and uh, if the selection is 1 they will perform the case 1 
so it will display our um, account because we also put in the in the menu here display balance so here we put the method that displays the balance of our account the break statement here means that after it performs this uh, method then it will stop the the selection and and will skip to the end and then it continue with the rest of our program if we take off this break um, what happens is that it will perform both this so th this case and the one after and so on until you know it gets to a break but we need to do um, to leave it there because we want to perform just this um, method and we continue also to get the other two case 3 is a withdraw bank account dot withdraw break and uh, in here we do just a system dot out dot print line and we put dot li those lines that we had before so that we understand that the program terminated break so in here we have also a default default means that um, in case uh, we put a selection that is not between one is not one two three or four uh, it will display something else or it will perform something else so what we're going to have here uh, we're going to put a message that say that our selection wasn't correct the selection is invalid so if we get the value that is I don't know zero or uh, or five six seven so whatever is not in here it will perform this default um, the default case and will print the selection is invalid uh, in theory the last um, um, case in, in this case the default doesn't have to have a break because anyways after this uh, common line uh, our uh, selection the switch selection finish so we don't have to to put it there in the end you can but it, it doesn't change anything so before this switch now we have to put something that let us change the selection because so far it will print the menu and then it waits for the selection actually it doesn't even wait for the selection the selection is already initialized as zero so we will always perform the selection is invalid so we have to change it and we're going to prompt us system dot out dot print line and we write that um, sorry guys making a mess uh, we're going to write insert selection and actually we're going to put print so the selection is going to be just after uh, the line we wrote so we're going to write selection equal to uh, read console we're going to use our old method read console dot next int and semicolon so in here the do loop we will we'll perform we'll write this menu um, then uh, it will ask uh, for uh, us to input a selection and then we'll check the selection and use one of those cases um, and perform it uh, so when the selection is 4 it will uh, print this one and uh, and then here we will exit the loop because it will be equal to 4 so it will go out of the loop now we can try it so we save it and we run it there we go so we have welcome to the bank um, we ask one of the selection we're going to display our balance um, and you see you have zero pound now we ask again 
because he's performing the loop because it wasn't equal to 4 we're going to deposit money this time so we type 2 and uh, he asked to deposit money we put 200 pound then we display it again and you see that now we have 200 pound and now we withdraw money and we take the not 20 pounds and uh, you see 180 pound now now we want to quit because the program will not terminate until we skip the loop you see that the loop always has been repeated but now we're going to put the fourth selection and it will print the line and the, you see that the program is uh, uh, terminated that's it for now guys and I'll see you next time